Julie, can you tell me how collaborative drawing worked? Here's all these drawings, but you know who worked on what. Can you describe the process? Um, <laughs> totally. <laughs> um, yes, it was a very informal, it was every night, like every Wednesday night from February to March, between 12 and 20 of us met out of about 45 artists total. And it was a very informal get-together party. Everybody would bring beer and materials and drawings, unfinished drawings. And then we would all just work on each other's stuff. Very loose, very casual. Um, so a lot of these drawings, like up to 10 people worked on them. And then sometimes only two or three, depending on, on which one. Like I think on this one, there's like five people. On this one, there's like maybe two or three people. And then some of them are kind of amazing, like, I think there's like 12 people who worked on this because they're all separate drawings that someone then collaged together. And then once it was collaged together, people drew on top of it and painted on top of it again. Wow. So, yeah, so lots of really interesting things happened. Allie Rex did all of these cut up, beautiful cutouts that you see. That's Allie. And her, this is, her work is like that. She'll take, this is her piece, her solo piece here, actually. So all the artists have solo pieces. All as the well. artists have solo pieces here as well. Oh, I saw her so at the Green Point Open Studios. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I saw her work for the first time at a MICA show. Oh. Um, it was a it was a piece like this, but but really large and had lots of different layers, and I loved it. She brought something really interesting to the whole process by doing a lot of collages. So and then um, you have a you have a a few other things, so why, are there any other drawings you'd like to say something about? Um, I love this one, this is, um, Eric Trosco took a bunch of Austin Thomas's drawings and cut them up and made this awesome collage. Uh, this is perfectly illustrating the sort of party atmosphere that we have at the gathering. And who, who did that one? That's Peter Brock and Geddes Levinson and Dre Burgard. And this is one of my favorite pieces. It's Brian Leo. And he actually, he, okay, so this, this is a drawing by Emily Hoffman. Mm -hmm. And then Brian added these square shapes and I think also painted it in. And he was so inspired by this that he went on to make all these pieces like this. And he's now, he's now brought this imagery into his own artwork that oh, he's making beautiful. now. I know, it's kind of incredible. That's Actually, this is one of my favorite walls. These are all really beautiful pieces. Brooke Moyes worked on these two. Um, I think Kyle from Hyperallergic Rock worked on these two. Oh, nice. Um, this one we used for the invitation. It's, um, yeah, there's about four of us on that. How about that large one over there? Who worked on that one? Uh, this is, a, this, I love this one too. So this started out, somewhere under here is a painting by Dennis Levinson. This is a cutout of one of my drawings. Uh, oh, here, here's, I think here is part of the painting that you can see from underneath Leaf of Geddes. And then Leaf Parsons collaged a bunch of these things on, and I believe he put this gold paint here. And then uh, Paul McHenry, Paul McHenry, a friend of J.P. Maritz, uh, put in these beautiful, it really completed it, these beautiful black lines in the background. So, I mean, <laughs> it's just, you know, these are the kinds of crazy and really awesome things that just sort of happen. So, what were, were there any uh, problems that came out? Were people, were there any arguments about when a drawing was finished yeah. and when it wasn't? <laughs> of course there were. Yeah. When you get 20 artists together in the room, we're all, you know. Yeah, so, um, how were those resolved? took the position of deciding because it was my it was my project and I got really protective. Like here's a beautiful piece that I would have been heartbroken if anyone had continued with because it's perfect. There's nothing more to do or say. It's just done. It's gorgeous. And there were other pieces like that that I took away and I hid. You know, there's a couple of them like this one. It's, it's just, right. you know, they're just done. This one here. There's nothing more, there's nothing more to do. Which one? Which was the this other one? This one, I love this one. This is, um, 
Emily Rose and myself. And, you know, I try not to be, you know, I mean, obviously there's issues of, you have to, if you're, if you're organizing a situation, you have to have some control over the situation. I try not to be, to impose my own aesthetic or sensibilities too much. But someone has to pull things off the fire before they get destroyed. And I will say this is a very small percentage of what we created because sometimes things would get so dumped on the paint for hours and weeks upon weeks upon weeks that they would basically, they, they were destroy it. Hmm. And that's what happens in your own process when you're painting. If you take a painting too far, you destroy it. So, so that happened. So I would go through every week and I would pull things out that I think had reached a place that was interesting and still alive. Still there was something happening, something that I was interested in. So, you know, I sort of curated out of that. But what happened, I didn't have any control over what happened on the paper as it was happening. Hmm. But I mean, someone, someone does have to be responsible for editing it down and choosing. So I did that. Great. This one's yeah. a really fun one. Yeah. That's we'll work on that one. JP Marin did a lot of this collage. Um, he, I believe he did a, an ink drawing under here. I painted a little bit on top, and then he went in with a lot of these objects, and uh, I think uh, Andrea Burgart, too. This is one of her plastic beads pieces. Uh, but these collage pieces are JP. Great. Would you do it again? Yes, but I think I need some time to heal. <laughs> Right. You know, it was it was a lot of time and energy. Great. Thanks. <laughs>